one just snapped. Oh, we got him. He came in, found those does. And, uh, and then he stopped and I held and held and held and then finally presented a shot at about 34, 35 yards. And we got a shot, right, probably a decent long shot. We hit him, hit him in the ribs. Same things happened with me on these other G5 arrows. I penetrate through, stick in the other rib, runs through the woods, pops that arrow off, and then that arrow's in there working. Wow, he will not be far. As soon as I hit that deer stops, he's gonna start getting wobbly legged and go down. That's a real humane kill, and that is one beautiful Iowa buck. We're gonna give him a little time, let the woods settle a bit, and then go recover our deer. So folks, don't go away. Come on back and see this giant Iowa buck we just put down. There it is. There it is. Broke right off. It's the exact same thing that happened to me and my elk this year. We uh, drove one of these Maximas in with a uh, 125 grain G5 broadhead. Busted up both ribs, broke off, and then they go to work. I bet you this deer's not very far away. I bet you he is already down and we're going to find him right around the corner. Let's go see. Big buck down, baby. He probably didn't go 60 yards. This is why I shoot a heavy arrow and a heavy broadhead. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that view. This is what we came to Timber Ghost for. There he is. Yeah! He didn't go 60 yards. Oh yeah. Look at that monster Southeast Iowa buck. Big mainframe eight. Look at those horns. I mean, he's gotta go, oh, 250 pounds. Here's my arrow. Busted off both sides. Front and back, how about that? That's why I use these heavy arrows, 350s, 125 grain, G5s. They do the job. This is an absolute, absolute gorgeous buck. I got very, very nervous. We passed on some good ones. And this is the last hour of the last day of the hunt. I'm heading to Texas tomorrow and I start getting real nervous that we were gonna go away empty-handed from Timber Ghost. We saw so many beautiful animals here. Uh, and I passed on some good ones that uh, I was regretting earlier today, but boy, now I'm not. This is a beautiful animal. Folks, if you wanna archery hunt or gun hunt here in Southeast Iowa, you've got to come to Timber Ghost Ranch. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. The facilities are beautiful. The guides are great. Mike Hines does just a wonderful job, supported by their owner, Steve Fox. It's a great hunt up here, folks. Look them up at www.timberghostranch.com. 
get up here and get yourself one of these monster Iowa whitetails.